Welcome to the Circus of Wayward Wonders. Welcome to Roll for Combat, Three Ring Adventure. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat, Three Ring Adventure. I'm your GM and host, Stephen Glicker, and in this week's episode, did the PCs think just traveling to a farm was going to be really, really easy? I'm sure they did, but oh, they were so wrong. So one thing I want to talk about this week, which is common in all role-playing games, but specifically common in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, probably even more so than in the last version of Pathfinder, and even versions of Dungeons & Dragons, but very, very common in video games, is that all the monsters and the bad guys will automatically level to whatever level you are. So if you are level 9 and you see someone walking down the road and you're thinking, oh, that little guy, he's just walking down the road and he's just carrying a little cane, he should be no problem. I can defeat that guy. And then you, like, attack him and find out he's, like, a level 11 monk and he's just kicking your ass. That is very common in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. And, you know, you know, video games. Like, think about how many times like, you play a video game and you see something that looks completely normal and say, like, you're level 50. And then, sure enough, that normal-looking thing is also level 50 and puts up quite a challenge. That is the concept of Pathfinder 2nd Edition that the players are still getting used to, is that you really can't determine how, quote, easy or hard something is just by looking at it. This is actually happening in another one of my games where they're fighting someone who literally looks like a street thug. Like, oh, that's just some baby street thug. No problem. We'll just kill them. And then what ends up happening? They're like level 11 and that street thug is like level 13. And they're like, come on. Come on. Why is that street thug level 13? They would be able to like take over this entire world. Because you know why? It's a game. It's a role-playing game. And yeah, there's a story element to it. And there should be a reason why this seemingly normal-looking street thug is so powerful. But you know what? Just go with it. This is very common. Now, when it comes to monsters, it's not so unbelievable. Because if you see a monster and you're like, okay, that monster is kicking my butt. I'm level 11. That monster's level 12. Fine. That makes sense. It's really when you're seeing humanoids and NPCs, that's where the disconnect sort of happens. If you are, you know, walking down the street, as I said, and you see someone who looks like, oh, here's a little street urchin. Oh, we should have no problem beating up this nine-year-old street urchin. And then it turns out to be like, you know, a level 15 thief, and it's kicking your butt. And you're like, come on, come on, how is that fair? Well, you know what, just always assume no matter what level you are, if you're playing Pathfinder, especially Pathfinder 2nd Edition, or any role-playing game, that the monsters are going to be approximately your level. That It's just the way it is. Now, not always, but usually. Now, as the GM, that also falls on you to make sure that you give enough information to your players to make sure they know what they're up against. Now, I try to do that whenever possible. With monsters, it's very easy. With PCs, it's a little harder. Usually, I'll just say, like, oh, they have, like, glowing weapons, or they have glowing armor, or they have glowing runes. Something to, you know, sort of telegraph to the PCs that, hey, these guys you're about to fight, they're pretty damn strong. And you might want to, like, I don't know, take it kind of seriously. Because you're going to see this come up quite a bit, is where they're fighting, and they are, like, using their, like, you know, cantrips and their level 1 spells, and they're not even bothering, because they're like, oh, this is an easy fight, why bother? And then suddenly, they get critted for, like, 70 points of damage for a little guy who looks like, you know, they should be a pushover. And then they realize, damn, man, what the heck's going on? Why am I getting my butt kicked? And then they have to start pulling out the big guns and sending out, like, the level 7 spells and things like that. And they're like, why am I wasting all my best spells today? I should be killing these guys. They should be super easy to defeat. Anyhow, you kind of get my idea of what I'm talking about here. Long story short, if you're a GM or a PC and you're high level, assume everything you're going to fight is also going to be high level. Not always, but usually. And why do I bring that up? Why do I bring that up? Well, no reason. No reason whatsoever. Anyhow, with that, let's get to this week's show notes. So show notes this week, the RPG Superstar 2021 has started. That's right. 
strange and unusual as this year's theme, all you need to do is go to RPGSuperstar.com and you too can enter. You get to create three monsters and you get to submit them and there's going to be more prizes, more winners, and then you could appear in next year's Battle Zoo Bestiary, Strange and Unusual. There you go. So take a look at that. If you need any help, go to the Discord channel. People are very nice there. They will help you out, talk to each other. The winners were there, and that's the best thing. We made it open to everyone. Even if you won last year the grand prize, you can enter again. You know why? Because we want the best of the best. And now you got to bring your A-game. Because now suddenly the people who won. And there was one person who won three gold prize monsters. And remember, it's completely anonymous. Like when we did the voting, no one knows who wrote what. It's all anonymous. So, you're going to be going up against these people. The winners. And then we'll, we'll see if they can repeat and if they are as good as they should be. So you got to really bring your A-game this time around. But the other good news is now everyone's done this, we have information on what works and what doesn't work. And everyone can probably help each other out and create even better monsters. That's kind of the whole point of this contest. Not only to create the best monsters possible, but to find people who are new talents in the industry. So come on over, check it out. You have several months to think about your entries. And if you really want, you can even make your entries and have people look at it. Everything you make on the site can be made public. So if you want, you can make your entry, make it public, let people look at it, give you information if you feel okay about it, and then submit it to the contest. So there you go. Once again, check that out, rpgsuperstar.com. Also, Battles of Bestiary. Well, the Kickstarter might be still going, depending on when you're listening to this, or might not. But, here's the thing. We're going to have the ability for people to do late pledges. I myself don't know exactly how this works. I believe you set up a store afterwards. I usually don't do late pledges, so I myself have to learn exactly how this works. But the good news is I'm working with Backer Kit, and I'm working with my Fulfillment House, Crown Studios, and a whole bunch of other people, so they know how it works. So, if for some reason you missed the Kickstarter, you should have the opportunity to join in the fun. At least before the Kickstarter is completely over and all the books are shipped out. Because I tell you right now, I believe all the prices are going to be raised when it goes out to retail. Uh, the main reason is just because, A, the books have gotten way bigger than I expected them to get. So they're going to cost more to actually you know, release. And two, because of the shipping crisis and supply crisis and everything else that's going on in the world... Uh, things are just more expensive, so I believe the books are just going to go up a little bit. So if you want to get the books, now is the time to get them, because they're going to get a little bit more expensive. Not a lot, I mean, maybe like five, ten bucks, but, you know, just letting you know. Anyhow, check that out. Just go to battlesu.com and you can find out all that information. And then finally, you know, if you want to become a Patreon and check out all the shows early and will listen to us live, you can. Just go to patreon.rollforcombat.com. Check that out. Of course, also, check out the website. Just go to rollforcombat.com where you can see Jason's Talking Combat column every single week. And you can also read all of our reviews of all the coolest and newest Pathfinder and Starfinder hardcover books. Anyhow, with that, let's get to this week's episode. Tell me your plan. Farm. Rob Tremarco is playing Darius Varus, a half-elf monk of the mountain style. That, that's the plan right now. That's it. Lauren Sig is playing Hap, a human fire elementalist sorcerer. Yeah, we're, we're going to go to the farm and see what's up, and then possibly go to the tower, depending on yeah. what's up. Vanessa Hoskins is playing Alhara Varus, a half-elf gymnast swashbuckler. Depends how the farm goes. Rob Pontius is playing Otteron, a human witch of curses. You got it. You decide to walk to the farm. We're so good at this. You walk to the farm. Walking, 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 walking. Hap is riding Riley. Alhara is carrying Otteron. And Darius is just doing his thing. I'm do, carrying do, 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 do. everybody else. I think He's Otteron carrying is everyone else. <laughs> so we're just a walking tower. 
Darius carries Riley. Riley carries Hap. Hap carries Alhara. And no, Alhara no, 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 that doesn't oh, work. No. We've we inverted it. And we all collapse. Yeah, we we fall down. <laughs> Stop working immediately. I okay. could just whirling throw everybody ahead of me as I run. <laughs> Wait, you could probably wee, whirling wee, throw wee, them wee. and then use your your monk like to catch them. <laughs> yes. to catch them and they keep throwing them. You're like, here we go. <laughs> it's the everlasting it's the juggling um, act. No, wait, what's it called? The um the perpetual motion machine? <laughs> no, 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 no. The operation uh oh, what's it? Um Oh the fastball special. Fastball yeah. special. special. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah. Okay, you are literally doing. I will do that with Alhara. Everlasting oh. fastball special. Well, Darius throws Alhara, runs, catches her, and keeps throwing her, and she's just th- like perpetual motion machine of throwing and catching. That sounds awesome. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. And here we are at the farm, everybody. And as you go towards the farm, suddenly you see on top of a small hill. A traveling group of small furry humanoids has come upon trouble. A tipped handcart is surrounded by scattered turnips. Two of these dog-like oh, no. people, oh, known as god. Shoonies, oh, my god. oh dear, <laughs> to the side of <gasps> this overturned cart and what? shout for help, help, help. Several Shoonies scramble about, seeking safety as the furrowed ground of the surrounded grasslands is periodically broken by great fin-like protuberances that rise up in bursts of (gasps) soil and then sink again as they travel in ever-tightening circles around the terrified travelers. Oh Oh no indeed. And just to make it that much worse, let me show you a picture of how cute these shoonies look. Oh, oh no. Oh, we have to no. save them I all. I don't like pugs. We have to oh, save them all. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Look at him. He's cute. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, no. Don't let the sharks eat the All right, pups. I'll give you it. These are, are pretty cute. They're pretty you want to see cute. another one? You want to see yes. another one? Show them all. Here's another shooty. He's oh, a he's badass. So cute. I like that one. I'm yeah. showing him to patrons. This guy. Oh, look oh at this guy! Gosh. Oh my god, look, he's catching oh, a no. fish! He's catching a fish! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute! Very cute. Do you decide to help them? Oh, I mean, yes. of course we're gonna help them. How could we not? Uh, Ahara immediately activates her, her bracelet. Uh, that would be the bracelet of dashing. Okay, I don't like how you just put four of those on the map. I was like, yeah, we could probably take one of them. Here's four. You'll be fine! Roll for combat! Oh uh, no. Two of them Woo-hoo. go first. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Oh no. Oh no. What are these things? What are they called? How Boulet. do you pronounce that? I can't Boulet? pronounce Brulette? Brule? Depends on if you're French or not. Uh, you know we what? always just call them boulettes. I'll just call them land sharks. Land sharks. sharks. <laughs> that's land sharks. Maybe they're what? vampiric. They are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Brulette number one goes. We're going to have so much fun. Oh dun no. Dun, oh no. Dun 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 You're actually circling. It's literally circling and going closer and closer to the Shoonies. Let me share my screen. They have to see Yeah, the Shoonies are on a cart. It's 90 feet away from you. It's up a little hill, and there's five of them. Two of them are hanging out to the overturned cart, and three of them are hiding behind the cart. There's four brulettes. Now, they're underground. You actually don't see them. You only see the fin popping mm-hmm. up and down. So I'm putting them on the map. Otherwise, this will be impossible. So they have pretty much full cover, more or less, while they're underground. And all these are underground. The first one goes, and it just goes around. And then the other one goes... You're swimming around. It's getting closer and closer. You just see the fins getting closer and closer to the shoonies. Oh, as no. they're getting closer to eat them alive. Ataran is up. Um, recall knowledge? Hey, now. That's a good one. It is a good one. Let's see. A nature. You know their names. Land shark. That's all you know. Okay, um, and I can mostly not see them. 
you see a fin. So they would all have greater cover at this point. Ooh. Unless you decide to, oh, I don't know, track their attention. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What does greater cover do for AC? Are they on top of this wagon? Like, are they looking, like, are they on the ground, these shoonies? Uh, I'm going to show you which ones. Uh, let's see. I will say... It's plus four to AC. Wow. Yep, plus four to AC. I will say that these two, number number seven and number six, the ones that little grab, they're holding on. Because the, the cart's rather large, and the shoonies are kind of small. Right. So they're like try and stack on. them up on top <laughs> when I okay. get over there. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'll try and, what I did is all the brulettes have little clouds on them. Those are undercover, and those are like in the ground. Yeah. And then the two shoonies that are holding on are like grabbed. I didn't put any obstacles on here. In theory, you couldn't really see behind the cart because it's really big and it's overturned. Mm-hmm. It's up a hill. But I'm making this easier because it is an enormous battle map. Yeah. So you go. One action. You know their name, but that's about it. All right. Um, I do not know much about land sharks, but we we have to get their attention. Atron is going to make best use they can at the two moment. We might need to scatter, but Atron will not be scattering immediately as they hold out their hand and make a kind of clawed motion and then bring the hand up, palm upward, as they chant Spiritualish Vegivir, but I'm using a fourth level spell slot what? for my spiritual weapon so it will be even stronger and i will That's so cool target yeah oh, let me zoom out this is indeed a big map all right so i will target uh does it look like two and the ones that haven't gone yet are two and three are, do they look like they're about to come up on them or they're gonna have to spin around a bit like you have no idea did? You have okay. no idea. All right. I think I will target number one with uh, the weapon, which I should be able to hit because my range is 120. Okay. You can try to target number one. I put the weapon on the board so we know where it is. So we can yeah, see it. Let's Actually, see. Make it a little bigger. So Oops. spiritual weapon. Roll to 27. Um, it actually does a d8 extra in damage if it hits because I'm using a fourth level slot. You hit the dirt All right. by a, a, a wide rent mouth. They're moving very quickly. All so right. you're like, damn, these things are going to be hard to hurt. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, I tried. Alhara, you're up. Okay. Did I get a chance to activate that uh, bracelet yet or no? Sure. Cool. All right. In that case... First thing I'm going to do is a stride action. Uh, I'm not close enough to try to strike the one that's closest. Gosh, they're so far away. 45 feet of movement and I still can't get there. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Do I move up and attack it? What do I want to do? I think what she's going to do is she's going to run up uh, adjacent to the closest uh, boule to us. She's going to run up adjacent to, like, you know, the, the dirt mound it's creating, essentially. Um, so that's going to be two stride actions to get up there. She's going to yell for free at the Shuni, get on the cart! Get on the cart! Uh, and she is going to very quickly pull out and attack the, the bulbous part of the ground, the displaced dirt, and where that fin is with her bow staff with a quick draw. What? Mm-hmm. New abilities. 30 to hit. You miss. Uh, oh my you gosh. hit the ground. You're like, yeah, Ugh. it's going to be really hard to hit them while they're under there. Yeah, it's going to be hard to hit them as they are literally under the earth. Darius, you're up. Darius steals himself. There will be no Shuni dead today. And uh, he runs 45 feet. Let me measure it out again. Put one back. One thing to also note... Uh, Ahara's bow staff is now thundering, so there's a big boom as it hits the ground. Yeah! It shakes with sonic damage, rippling through the dirt. Boom! Boom. And then you see Darius, at this point, there is a red blur, and you. <gasps> oh. There is a. The sound and feeling of a heartbeat. Woof, woof. As he moves 45 feet, 
seemingly not intervening in space past anyone. Wait, what? Gets another 45 feet. It's called Abundant Step. Oh my goodness. And Excellent. That woof, woof next to this little shuni and he has last actions to put him on this cart. I'm going to save you all, little buddies. Oh, is you like, can you do that one action? Go and pick him up and put him on the cart? Oh, I don't know. Is that an action? I mean, yeah. I, then I pick him up as an action. Okay, well, you can do it. Yeah, you're next to them and you can probably start gathering them up next turn. Well, it's one action to move, one action to bu- abundant step, and I have uh-huh. one more action. Okay, then you can put him on the cart. Yeah. There you go. He's on the cart. Good. And then the next brunette goes. Dun 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 in that case, then this is what's going to happen. He starts to move kind of near you, Darius, and you see it, the fin go near you. Yeah. You think it's within reach. Do you trigger an attack of opportunity? I, uh, I have standstill back, so okay. yes. Okay. You go. Your funeral. I mean, go right ahead. Oh, uh, well. 31. 31. Ooh, a so miss. Close. Uh, that has to be close, right? Like, that was such a good roll. I know, I know. They're getting a big AC boost from cover. Well, do you want the good news or the bad news? Well, I know what the bad news is, so go ahead with the good news. The good news is you got their attention. Yeah. Well, the bad news is you got their attention. <laughs> oh, no. No, the good news is now their AC goes down, because now as you punch it, it stops. Oh, and I missed bursts it. bursts out. Oh, yeah, but it, it, it felt oh, that. Oh, but it felt that. Okay. And it bursts out of the ground, and in front of you is a mm, huge animal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Approximately, I don't know, 15 feet tall? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's see, what does it do? It does a leaping charge to try to jump up and then eat you and then go across. So it'll stop and then leap across. And how does it do this? Hmm... It leaps over you and does a claw attack. Ah. And and while it does its claw attack while it's like over you. So it's sort of like free willy, only (laughs) it's like clawing (laughs) at you instead of you touching it. Going free willy. Claw murder. Claw murder. Does a 40 hit you. Yeah. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) Wow. That's absolutely a critical. Oh, dear God. 40 points of damage. Four zero points of damage. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, that was the first one. There's only four of these. I mean, how bad okay. could it be? How bad could it be? But the good news is it does <laughs> land near Alhara. I'm going to take my attack of opportunity with my bow staff. Okay. It does Especially land now that it's not you. underground. 27? Miss. Ugh. And then the other one goes dun 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 It's just circling. Shuni goes. The Shuni is holding on, is desperately trying to get on, and he manages to just get on top of the cart. But you're looking at the cart, and you're looking at this thing, and you realize it may not matter. It's not gonna matter. (laughs) This cart doesn't matter. Hey, if it buys like a moment, you know. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Hap, you're up. Uh, So I I did just watch that Bulette jump out of the ground and almost chopped Darius's head off. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think I'm going to spend two actions to use my elemental motion. With with the with the with the power of rising heat, I will begin flying. And then I'll use uh, a fly action to move twenty five feet closer while also <laughs> elevating a lot. <laughs> I wanna stay out of that reach. And Riley will get one action which he will use to move 40 feet forward. That could have been Riley right there. I guess that could have been. Yeah. Good boy. All right, that's four actions. I'm done. Shuni on the ground is like jumping desperately. They're all screaming, Help! Help us! I'm doing my best, guys! Help us! Oh. Help us! Help us, travelers! Help us! They're going to eat us! And you see the Shunis are desperately trying to 
go towards the cart. They're desperately trying to climb up on top of it. And now they're going near Darius for protection. You got it, buddies. I have an idea. <laughs> we can you. put them all in the bag of holes. Dun, dun, dun. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> then you're against away. that. Dun, Let's dun, all dun, get in the bag of holding dun, 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 dun. Brulette number one. Oh, it's getting well, really close. I can close. empathy to ask them away. He's getting really, really close. He's right next to the cart. Oh no! And brulette number four goes. Dun 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 dun. He's all underneath. They're, oh, they're, they're circling around. Now either under the ground. Oh, he's so close. Look at that. Oh, he's right next to the shooties. They're going to get eaten. Oh, no. <laughs> to run, you're up. They're not even attacking. They're just circling. They yeah. love this. <laughs> so is two above ground? Two is the only one above ground. Okay. Number one, three, and four are still underground. Okay. Let's see here. You have not even scratched a single one yet. Oh, my gosh. Better bring it, baby. It's like, you see one. Oh, that's not so bad. You see two. You're like, okay, I think we're in trouble. Then three. You're like, are you kidding me? And then you see four. You're like, well, shoot, he's going to die. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little worried. Otteron is going to move there as they sustain, move their um, spiritual weapon to attack bullet number two. All right, so I will roll. Don't miss. Oh my gosh, these things are so beefy. Well, well I roll a natural one, well. I will use my hero point. <gasps> <gasps> what? Why? Okay. Oh, great. Nat 20 of a 37. What? All right. And actually, it should be an extra D8 of damage because it's a. All right, so roll another level. D8. So, so far, it's 16. Now Plus another seven. 14. Awesome. 30 damage. 30 points of damage. Awesome. Very nice. Otteron will continue to sustain, so it drives in again. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Another nat one. Wow. Fate, uh, fate's really with uh, you, huh? Dice still love me. Let's see, I have one more turn. Oh, you still have one more action? Uh, yep. Oh, okay, sorry. Otteron will move forward 25 feet. Sounds good. Mm, they're getting closer and closer. Alhara, what do you do? Oh, these things are so tough. But Alhara knows that she needs to get this thing's attention away from the Shuni. And now that it's on the surface, so hopefully a little easier to hit. So she's going to first do a tumble through, uh, basically jumping over into the Boulay's space and like kick flipping off of it back into the space that she was on or, or pretty close. So I'm going to start with that. This is an acrobatics against its reflex DC. 31. 31 is a critical success. Cool. Awesome. Uh, but that's, that's good to know. So it is now, uh, I get panache and it is flat footed, but I'm immediately going to use that panache because holy heck, do we need it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to decide knife or pick, knife or pick. Uh, Let's use the pick. Alhara is going to, spend her second action uh she's actually gonna drop her bow staff on the ground she'll pick it up later uh, hits the ground with a loud thunk as the the sonic power goes off she's gonna pull out that cold iron pick and she's gonna try to just bury it right through this thing's skull i'm gonna use a new power a bleeding finish Ooh, sounds bloody it is so very bloody it's a very cold iron pick oh i rolled a four to hit Oh, this is going to be so good. Do I spend a hero point? Probably not. It's in my face and I might die. <laughs> you, may, you miss. Now, the unfortunate part about a bleeding finish is a uh, failure to zero damage and I still lose my panache. <sighs> oh, well, we tried. We now tried. what? That's it. That's three actions. Darius? I immediately put these two shunies on top of the cart. All right, that's two actions. Are they all on the cart now? Yeah, they're all on the cart. Mountain stance. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, the stance no. is of mountainous sorts. The land shark. Let me press the button. Oh, you oh, already I did already it. I already did it. I did it for you. Uh, Sorry. That's fine. You're taking too long. The land <laughs> shark doesn't even bother. Just looks at Alhar and just starts, you know, biting, clawing, biting, clawing. That's it. First little bite. 34. 19 points of damage. 
Then it claws you. Uh, Ooh, does that hit? 22 points of damage. I can't see any of the rolls, but... Oh, you can't? Oh, sorry. That's all right. Oh, no. Things are so bad. All right, and then finally, it will claw you again. There you go. Now you can see it. Ooh, oh, good. I can see that one. Critical miss. It is a critical miss. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to use an opportune repost. Because I might as well. So this is a cold iron regular attack. Another 27. Is it flat-footed because the shuni is on the opposite side? Miss is still even flat-footed. Oh my gosh. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> shuni is actually not even trying to. They're so not paying attention to this okay. thing. Okay. <sighs> Through that number three goes. It goes actually underneath. <gasps> but oh, it, no. you can try to attack it underneath another one. No, I don't have any reactions left. I used it. Right. Oh, Darius, one's going near you. What do you do? Are you doing anything? <laughs> yep. Oh, oh baby. no. <laughs> okay. Yep. I will strike it. Okay, there or there. On its way away from Alhara. Okay, it's like trying to leave you. All right. <laughs> okay, go. 27. Miss. Oh, well. We're really good at rolling 27s. Too bad yeah, we're not our class. And you just, you just, you just, yeah. Keeps on going. <laughs> Keeps on going. It doesn't I mean, even care. It's like, whatever. That's my armor class, so. Like whatever, dude. Actually, she's just going to stay there. Shoonies are like, help, help. Yep, and they're, yep. they're trying to get it like as far away from these things as they possibly can, but they're just grabbing onto the card, and they're now throwing turnips at them. Oh my Half gosh. is up. Does the cloud mean that it's above ground, or below ground? Correct. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend one action to fly 25 feet closer, and then I'm going to spend another action to do recall knowledge. Do Is that a secret check I can never remember? Yeah. No secret. Okay, you know all about these things. Oh, good. You know they're brulettes. You know that they move way faster on the ground than under the ground. Like, way faster. So that ain't good. And, yeah, they're really easy. They do two things. They can claw you to death, or they can jaws you to death. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Claws and jaws. Yep. And they do like specific favorite foods. And they get a plus one to attack and damage against those favorite foods. And they're never elves. So maybe Darius and Alara oh. won't taste so good when they finish and eat them. They also can jump out of the ground and attack you during their jumps, which you saw. That's literally everything there is to know about these things. Okay, so I don't need to know about any resistances. I don't need to... What's nope. their favorite food? Each one is different. Oh, I see. Okay, good to go. So there's no, like, exploitable weakness. It's like, regional. oh, look over there. I found no. a deer. Okay. All right. Except good. they hate elves. And they hate... Oh, actually, you do know this. Their favorite food is halflings. Okay. Which is probably why they're going after the shoonies, because they look so yummy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've got one action left. I'm going to give it to Riley. Uh, so Riley will move 40 feet up, which is all of his speed, but that puts him... Adjacent. I wonder if I can get to. Yeah. Okay. Riley will come and be adjacent with uh, with Alhara. It doesn't tactically. It doesn't do anything. But hopefully, there's some nice moral support there. And then finally, Riley will get one attack. Oh. Huh. Oh, he gets one attack. Okay. Yeah. I gave him my action, so he gets two. Oh. Uh, okay. Go go around. Let's see. I don't think he's gonna hit, <laughs> but he can try. Hey, what do you know? You rolled a twenty-seven. You're really good at those. We can roll twenty-seven. Hmm. You miss. Okay. All the shoonies are just throwing things at the, uh, you know, the brulettes. Round three. Things like apples and... Apples, turnips. Flint and steel. More turnips. A random crowbar. And guess what? It worked. Good news. Now oh, the brulette no. comes out no. and does an attack on shuni number one. Oh, no. Oh, no. 28. Poor it's doggo. Super dead. 19 damage. <gasps> He's a Dorito. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <gasps> no, really? 
Yes, Shuni number seven is no more. Oh, And no. he just grabs him and starts shaking him like a dog and starts eating him. And oh, Shuni God. is now... That's... What? Let's just put them up here. And we'll put them in the kill count area in the top. Oh, there. my gosh. <sighs> well, the good news is they're above ground now. So that was that was, that was was the uh, brulette number one's turn. Now brulette number four goes and attacks Shuni number Oh, five. no. Being up it didn't matter. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> 50 points of damage. Go, 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 go. That one's just totally toast. And there's like pieces of fur hitting Darius in the face. Blood and fur and a in a arterial spray. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three of them are above ground and they're starting. There's only three um three shoonies left. I'll try and you're up. Okay. We've attacked two, I know. Did we end up hitting three? I tried to hit as many as I could. Number two was hit. That's it. Yeah, I thought the so. only it, one that's been the hit. The spiritual weapon's the only damage that's actually <laughs> done yeah, anything. That's, okay, that's what I thought. All right, Ataron. I think I've now moved close enough. Let me check. Yep. All right, I'm now close enough. Ataron will strike first at number one, concentrating on that spiritual weapon. Okay. Moves over to number one. Where it's are above you? ground. Oh, that one. Okay. For a 24. Roll the 7. Yeah. You miss. Yep. Um, I will concentrate again. 27. But Jeez. at a penalty, so it would be even less. Okay. Good. What is with us rolling 27? <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's a shame that's not its armor class. I tell you. We would be kicking ass if it was. That's right. I'm going to move a little closer because I might need to do some healing. That's it for me. Alhara. I hate everything about this. All right. You guys can run away. I mean, I'm thinking nope. about it. Uh, Alhara is a good person, though, and she does dumb stuff. So we're going to we're gonna stay here. And not only are we going to stay here, we're going to get into the precarious position that puts Alhara in danger instead of the Shuni. First, she's going to try and tumble through again. But this time, to try to get to the other side of it. 25 should be a success, I think. Uh, it's actually not a success. Against its reflex, reflex DC? That is correct. Reflex plus I thought it was 10. 31 was a critical success. Ooh, oh, then I made a mistake. Sorry, oh, okay. that was a regular success. I did the math wrong. Oh. Yes, you That's actually fail. fail. Oh, my gosh. Uh, if it has any reactions based it's on not. movement okay uh, in that case i'm going to try it again because i rolled a what five rolled a five you just missed 38 okay now that is a critical success oh good <laughs> i'm glad i wasted my good roll well, i only have one action left and i have panache yet again i am in a flanking position with riley uh, i'm i'm gonna try this bloody this bleeding finish again with this pick Oh my gosh, I rolled a three. Why? Why? 23. You miss. Are you this done? would be so cool if I could actually hit something. I, I Yeah, I guess so. Darius, you're up. Mountain stronghold. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, I have to do... I, I gotta try this. Mountain stronghold, and then I will flurry of blows this with a true strike. Well, there's two that you can see. Three, or one that's underground that's getting enormous coverage bonus. So up Oh, the one by me. Okay. Well, I don't want to... Okay, I'll take a step. Let's do that. Step. There you go. Mountain and you get flanking. Hole. Hey, if you delay until after me, I will send you the bag of holding, and you can start shoving shoonies in it. Uh, I think... I don't know. I think Maybe just... Sweerad wouldn't do that, though. Maybe you can fly I don't think, over and get them. You, yeah, you can. Why don't you fly over and pluck them out of the sky, out of the from the air? I can. So I, I it'll. Don't make this three... a moral quandary for your silly plan. <laughs> My silly plan. I don't have a plan here. It just. Yeah, your plan is shove dogs in bags. Oh well, I mean, I'll just, I'll just kill the Beulah Huts. I don't care. Do what you got to do. I'm going to step mountain stance, flare of blows with this bullet that we're all attacking here. One right here. Number. I can't see the number. Number two, it's been Bullet. hit exactly once. Number two has been hit once. 
go, only go. Only damage that we've done this entire time was a critical hit from the spiritual weapon. Nope. Uh, you roll first. a three. Okay. And the old 27's back. <laughs> you rolled a 27. You miss again. It's actually 29. Are you done? 29 minus 5. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Brulette. Number two goes. R is there. Mr. Darius is there. Uh -huh. And Mr. Riley's there. Uh -huh. Who shall let attack? I don't know. One, two, three. Hey, Riley. How yeah, are you I mean, doing? He, oh, prob no. he probably thinks Riley's food. <gasps> well, Riley. We're all food. food. We're all food. Today we're all side Does dicks. a 39 hit Riley? Oh my god. Uh, 40 points of damage. How could you get the 18s? Because I'm evil. Because that's the way this show has always worked. God, I don't know why you're bullshit. confused by this. Oh, but then I got a critical miss. Tries to hit Riley again and gets an 18. That's something at least. And then tries one more time with its third claw attack. And just does a normal hit. For merely 15 points of damage. Merely. The last one pops out and attacks Mr. Shuni No. You can you can do the attack of opportunity. Yeah, it did. No, it just moved. It just moved. I will AOO it. Okay. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh my god, you guys are completely Completely surrounded. Thirty-seven. <gasps> That's good. Yay. I can't believe it. You actually hit. I gave you a double hit. That's how excited uh, I am for wow. you actually hitting. Well, it. It did, if it wasn't a crit, he still gets to move, but I just do damage. And you do sixteen points of bludgeoning, max and damage, six, and less. six electricity, and max damage on electricity. Whoa. Lightning fist. So lightning fist. How much is that? That is a whopping twenty-two. Sixteen isn't max. It's just one of them was an well, eight. Well, one was a max. Yeah. A max. What? Okay. Max. You okay. hit it. You hit it. High damage. Is it now? Pick me as a target. Yes, it does. Oh, okay, yay! Good. It was just about to eat the shuni, and then you hit it. And it's like, and it's like, rah, Jaws attack. Wow. Miss. Four. Miss. Jaws again. 29. Still a miss. Wow. Well, well, well. Wow, that's awesome. You made its attention. <laughs> I'm now, no, you guys, it. you congratulations. You, you put yourselves exactly where you want to be. Surrounded by four bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that is that where you wanted to be? I, I could have used was. wild empathy to you know do something, but I guess we instantly wanted to kill. So, oh yeah, I'm sure the bullets would be real. Oh well, hold cool. on, let's rewind I'm, time to when the Shoni were about gonna... to get murdered and be like, no. "Yeah, Hop, go spend ten minutes talking to them. Let's see hey, what happens." You know, maybe I could have talked them into better hunting or something. You just uh, like just, just chat with them while they either. munch on all the uh, Shoni and yeah, be like, "It's cool." Steven would have been shark. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it looks like Riley's about to get completely devoured. So I literally have to spend my turn just putting him elsewhere. Uh, I'm gonna have Riley use his one action to to come to Hap, and <laughs> then I'm gonna cast Pet Kosh A and put him away. I'll put him in another dimension so he can't get killed. The Riley dimension. He'll go to the. He'll go in the Pokeball. Yeah. Oh no, my flanking partner. Oh, Pet Cache is <laughs> only one action, though, so I can still cast a two action spell. Uh, let me oh, see. Oh, Pet Cash. Yep, Pet Cash. Okay, so it looks like if I do a lightning bolt, I can hit Bulet number two and one since they're both above ground. Yeah. So let's do it. Let's cast a lightning bolt. Okay, let's see what happens. I was wondering when people would start bringing out the big guns. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right. 27 damage, but I do like to ask for a 27 reflex save. Surely okay. you let someone have good reflex saves. Number two goes first. Ooh, fail. Almost a crit fail. And I number one nice. goes oh, next. Oh, they need a net one to get the crit fail. They actually have decent reflex saves. I thought they both failed, though. They yeah. both fail, so yeah. you hit them with it's a level three lightning bolt. So. Yeah, 27 each. I actually don't have height on lightning bolt, so this is... The best I got is level three lightning bolts. Nice. All right. I don't know if the line really would have hit them both since you're flying, and you know if you use Pragory. You said theory, they're 15 feet tall. Like, oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. I'll give you that. But you also said you're getting way out of their range. Okay. 
Shuni number nine jumps onto Darius and like, okay. help me, help me, as he saw his two friends get eaten. And he's like clinging on to you for dear life. Okay. Shuni number uh, six Sit on my shoulders. onto Alhara. Help me, help me. They're like now on you. They're like oh, no. grabbing onto your back, ho- praying and hoping that you, you will get them. Uh, okay. And then the other one is like, I need someone grab me, please, please. For that number one. Oh now, the spiritual gosh. weapon, did it? What? Oh, no, that didn't hit it. Half nope. hit it. Right. Yep. Okay. It does go by Alhara. Does Alhara do anything? Uh, yeah, I'll take an attack of opportunity. Why not? Okay, 27 to hit. Does 27 hit its armor class? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was just wondering, because I don't think we've rolled 27 yet, and I wasn't sure if that would hit or not. It's got to be close, right? It's got to be close. Golly. Hey, Hap. Oh, How are hello. you? Hello, land shark. So it angry. jumps up in the air, does a high jump. How high up are you flying? I don't know. Not high enough. I only spent one action, so like, well, probably not high didn't... enough. If you didn't spend an action to fly, you floated down, which you would have had to do anyway to touch Riley for this other spell. Uh, well, no, I had Riley jump into me, but yes, also. You're close enough. It does a high jump, and then the apex of its high jump, it can make a claw strike against you. And while it does it, it does two claw strikes as it free willies across Hap and tries to hit you twice with oh, its claws. Okay. Well, I instantly die then. It's not instant. Oh, just a normal hit. Okay. I thought I was going to get double crit. Well, 23 points of damage. And then it hits you again. And of course, its attack penalty does not go up. Of course not. A 34. See? Hey, just a normal hit. Just 19 points of damage. So you're still alive. Land. Yeah, that's ha- over half my health, but over I'm here. not instantly dead. So that's good. Well, you got its attention. That's what you were trying for, right? And then Brulette number no, four. No, I was trying to kill it. <laughs> goes and it's like trying, and it like jumps onto the, the um, <laughs> the actual cart. I'm gonna move these shoonies off on the side. And then it's like, and then it's gonna try to eat number uh, number eight with its jaws. Oh, <sighs> that ain't good. Right off my shoulder, he bites him. No, right no, off no. My this is the, this, that was the one that's that was in between oh. the two of you. The ones that are still oh. on your backs, they're still alive for now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is two left. They're on you. I think this encounter is just see how many bullets you can kill before they get full and leave. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ots wow. runs up. There's two left. Two shooties on you. Well, oh look at that. Is that fireball or is that fireball? Look at that. They're right. Oh my god. You couldn't. You couldn't ask for a better grouping. Uh. Wow. I don't know what to do. I mean, if you need us to get out of Dawn, you know. I'll try and, and Alhar, you can't even see them. They're, these things are so big. Yeah, I think first thing Atron does is spread their arms out and then bring them together as black feathered wings appear. And then all the feathers go flying around Hap as Atron uses his life boost on Hap. Where are you, life boost? There we are. So that's fast healing... Uh, Double the spell's eight. level, so eight. eight. That's awesome. Yes, fast healing eight for four It's rounds. not spell level five? Isn't it a focus spell? Oh, you're right. I have fifth level spells now, so... Yeah. Fast healing ten for four rounds. Ha-ha. Nice. Yes, thank you. Thank you, level nine. And then Atron will... One did get hit by the lightning, but two is worse off. So... I think Atron's going to continue to have the spiritual weapon strike at number two. Yeah, that's the more injured of them. Yeah, I mean, reduce some enemies, maybe? Uh, spiritual weapon, spiritual weapon. I really want to put a wall of fire around you guys. 35? <gasps> wow. You hit. And that's an extra D8, which well, I Well, I already have it there. I did a 13 points of damage. Oh, thank you. All right. I, I added it while we were talking. Ooh. Thank you. I appreciate that. Super handy. And then, so that's one action, one action. Atron will... I'll try to stab again. Stabby stab. Oh, that misses. Oh, roll the one again. All right. That's it for me. 
Okay, I'll hire. You got a shuni on your back. Doesn't really yeah. seem to be hampering you though that much. Okay, so I can I can still tiny. try to like yeah, tumble you can through tumble this thing everything. if I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, he's grabbing up for dear life, and he's small, and he's pretty light, so you don't think it's like it's sort of like a pee back of a kid. So you're okay. Okay. All right. Let's let's try this. Hold on, little shuni. We're going okay, yeah. for a ride. We're gonna try to tumble through back to the other side, hopefully to flank with Darius and all that fun stuff. 35 against its reflex teasing. That is a... Not a crit, but a success. All right, I need a cool. 36 to critically succeed. Yeah, unfortunately, Tumble Through doesn't do anything on a critical success, because that would be super cool. No, in that case. Hold on, little guy. So uh, Alhara leaps into the air and basically, like, jumps from armored plate to armored plate on the back of this belay as she sort of jumps back and forth across it landing on the other side and as she lands she comes down as hard as she can with this cold iron pick come on bleeding finisher natural oh one. no now natural you use one. the hero point yeah you know what it hero point I, I, yep. I need to hit this thing here comes a two. Oh my gosh a five five Ooh. five is is not gonna do it either at least she did get 27 Lisa, thanks. Yeah, at least I didn't get 27. <laughs> oh, oh. Crap, I need to get well, this thing's attention. Well, that was your second roll, so if it was your first, I would have been a 27. Anyhow. No, 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 this is a I know, a I know. I was just being annoying. Uh, I'm trying to decide what to do with my third action, though. Um, third action. I'm never going to hit this thing. Okay. Hey, the thing is, they're not that hard to hit. You're just rolling atrociously. They're really not that hard. I mean, when I when we hit twenty seven, I'm rolling a nine, so uh, all right, they're a little hard. All, all right. right, well, you rolled a two. You rolled a yeah. two. I'm rolling twos and fives, and yeah, it's just not okay. We're all gonna die. This is cool. Well, you guys are all gonna. Die. Darius, Darius, uh, he will mountain stronghold again. Keep it up, oh boy. Oh and then boy. he'll do his um, combination true strike. And uh, key strike. Ooh, it's, it's which a big one? hit. Uh, well, it's both. No, it's against number two. Oh, against number two. The one you're flanking with. Yes. Got it. So there's that pulse of of like kind of like red blood looking energy that goes from his you know center of his chest into his fist, and his eyes flash red as his fist crunch right into this thing. Ooh. So it's plus one to hit, and also because of True Strike, it ignores, you know, any kind of concealment, and I roll twice and pick the better, right? Yes. If you're using the Key Strike attack, I already have the plus one in there, so. Right. So Key Strike, first one, it's, but it's also True Strike. That just means you roll twice. Yeah, I roll twice. Mm-hmm. Well, the 33 is the one. Are you going to take the 33 or the yeah. 21? It's the 33. Okay. And then the key strike damage and electricity damage. Wow. You actually hit it. You did Yay. 16 Crush. points of bludgeoning, 5 points of key, Jeez. 9 points of electricity, 25 points of damage. Oh, boy. He's not looking good. What do you do? He's looking, he's looking mighty dead. That's it. You're done. Yep. Roulette number two goes. Leave All right, it. here comes a punch. Oh really? Okay, he's running yeah, away. You're gonna attack him on his way out. Okay, his way out. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Screw this thing. Thirty-two. Ooh. Really? Absolutely well, shocking. Eighteen damage. Fifteen. Okay. Eighteen. Electricity. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Wow. Twenty-nine. Well, it was actually yeah. hit because you have flanking. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So that's just the uh, 11 points of the clock. Yes. Yay. Wow. Screw that thing. I'm keeping it on the ground, though, because this thing is a this big. thing's a hazard now because it's so big. Yeah, I bet. It saw its friend go down. It doesn't care. It doesn't have friends. It's not happy. Oh, no, that's true. It tries to eat Darius and the Shuni. At the same time, rah, 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 rah. maybe but. that's a mated pair, and like the one that we just killed was the baby. Thirty-seven, seventeen points of damage. Oh my gosh! And then it's gonna 
Oh, that was his claw attack. Oh, well, I forgot to do the wrong one. I did the uh, wrong one. Claw, claw. How about that one? Ah, oh, 31. Does that hit? It just hits. 21 points of damage. 20. Miss. Okay. No. Fantastic. Take some damage. Half is up. Then the shoonies, and then we'll stop. Yeah, If so if I fly straight up, <laughs> do I think that I'll be out of its reach? You, you regain ten hit points if you didn't already. If did, you if you it. fly approximately maybe forty feet away, maybe forty fifty. Yeah, yeah, I mean this thing is fifteen feet tall. Plus it can jump pretty high, so maybe at least forty ish. I really should have put Long Strider up. I really want to be doing damage right now, but. I can only do one round of damage if I die. So I'm going to use two actions to get 50 feet up. And yeah. And then I've got one action left. I'll use a level one heal on myself just because I don't want to waste that one action. All right. Well, don't forget, you get 10 hit points back from fast heal. Mm -hmm. I did it already. I'm still okay. like barely <laughs> over half. That's how bad I got hit. Okay. All right, so two, I, I give myself two hit points What while I'm 50 feet up. Okay. I put Ooh. Riley with the dead shoonies, just so we know that he's out of action. Okay. Just don't put an X on him. He's very much alive. He's alive. He would have got swallowed in the very uh, next no. round. Okay, shuni, that's on Darius. Is like banging your head. He's like, run away! Run away, big man! We're going to die! We're going to die! And then the, the, the one on Alhara is like, oh, don't do that again. I don't feel so good. <laughs> run away! And you, you see him getting a little wheezy after you tumbled through. It's Maybe okay. the bullets will eat each other. The dead You'll one. be fine, pupper. All right. Oh, look, you killed one. Yay! I'm going to start nuking them with Sudden Bolt. I've done zero points of damage. And I helped. It's round five, and I've done zero points of damage. The dice are not with us. That is clear. See, this is why I thought it was so cute. You're like, we're just going to go and investigate and come back. I'm like, no, you won't. Sure we will. No. I mean, we thought something was going to happen. I don't think anyone thought four land sharks were going to be eating Shuni. Yeah, that's not what I expected, of anything. This is making me wonder if I should never bring Riley anywhere. Because he, you know, he, he's useless in He's got fight. the killing blow. And I mean, this like, is obviously fights. a very dangerous he's not, encounter. He's, it's a dangerous encounter. If we could just get their numbers down, that would be good. Like, yeah, like, but like, because their AC a liability is 30, it's ridiculous. He made me waste a whole turn so that he didn't die. Yeah, but their their reflexes and wills are not that great. I mean, their saves are not great. Maybe this just maybe he's maybe this just wasn't the fight for him. Maybe no, it's it. not. Yeah. This is the this is the AOE fireball lightning bolt fight that no yeah. one is yeah. doing. Well, <laughs> I can't fireball. There's you know there's or mental attacks or something. Yeah, they're just know. big broody beasts. It's actually hard mm. to go toe to toe with them. I was hoping just to distract them long enough for you two to nuke them. I'm about to start nuking with um I mean, with sudden bolt. I just had to spend a whole turn protecting Riley, and then mm -hmm. spend a whole turn just getting away so I didn't get eaten. Mm -hmm. I'm about to start nuking them so hard though. You've been listening to Roll for Combat. Three Ring Adventure, a Pathfinder actual play podcast. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at RollForCombat.com. You can also find us and play various games on our Discord channel at Discord.RollForCombat.com. been listening to Roll for Combat. Until next week, always remember to check for traps.